Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the range that we've got on this Bitcoin chart and why really this is not as bearish as everybody's going to be making out this morning. It's a lovely range that we are still trading within here. You know, I've been saying it so many times. This is an absolute gold mine. This is truly just an massive, massive, massive gold mine where we can just be making pretty easy money if we're honest. So I'm going to be going through the range once again because, you know, it really is. As, it's as simple as this. Long the lows, short the highs. 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 Long the lows. So obviously, we've just hit the low. Have a guess what you should be doing. Obviously, looking for longs. I mean, this is simply how we're trading. And funny enough, I found this hilarious. That obviously... Um, this is the range that I was referring to uh, of, of of my new girlfriend, uh, you know, back, back back a month ago, back on the 11th of May, referring to her as my wife after I married it, the, the really perfect range and how and how she has evolved, obviously starting off where I first originally married her after I've already taken a load of trades off of it. Um, obviously coming back up to the highs and, and then yesterday being the 11th which was our one month anniversary was when we were bouncing off the lows there so I just found I just found that pretty funny that was our one month anniversary she's still giving me winning trades lovely to see so obviously the trade uh, that I was in uh, over the last 24 hours was a short position and that was a short obviously from our round around 10 10,000 to obviously my highest fill was 10,178 um but you know Really, for me, the whole time, well, you know, as soon as we had that big drop to the downside, I had always envisioned uh, us to fill in the inefficiency in this candle, which was at 10,050. So I'd been patiently waiting for one whole week. One whole week I was patiently waiting for this. Um, and also you had like the... the so I'll, I'll talk you through this because this is pretty interesting when you, when you get into my brain, I suppose, that I was seen, and this was obviously posted on the 8th while we were down around here. Um, you know, what I was saying to in the Champions group is like, you know, everything is pointing really, really bearish. Okay, so every indicator you look at, go, go, you know, go look at your indicators. They're all pointing very, very bearish. Okay, so everything's pointing a bearish signal. So I was saying, basically, every indicator is pointing bearish. I would not be surprised to see another rise before any drop. So obviously the key level I was looking at was 10,050. Um, so I was really wanting to see the, us rise to fill in this efficiency, okay, uh, before basically see before we see any drop in price so it's kind of like why why would why was this like this happen you might think dang if everything's pointing bearish if all, all the technical analysis is pointing bearish why are you still looking for a rise in price so isn't that counterintuitive of what you would expect you are a technical trader why are you trading against the technical analysis and this is where there's like a whole dimension in trading above technical analysis in, in my opinion there's like a whole dimension that you can only get to this level of trading and this isn't trying to brag you can only get to this level of trading once you've actually traded for years and you actually fully understand like how the market's moving as well as just having the like the, your own intuition of, of recognizing the signs when you're likely to get these rises even when everything's looking so bearish and I guess a really good example is is simply the stock market. Obviously, that yeah. So yeah, this was another thing that there was confluence with yesterday. That the stock market was obviously just look at the UK market. Obviously, you can look at that in the morning. You know, I woke up and and you know wake, waking up to my alerts on my phone. I've seen that UK market down around three percent. Okay, so that straight away is is making me pretty uh, you know likely that we're going to see a pullback or you know just adding to the confluence that we were going to see this drop. Okay, you know I woke up and Bitcoin was was still hovering around you know nine thousand eight hundred I think at the time when I woke up. But then seeing the UK stock market down 3%, seeing, seeing the futures market down around 2.5%, you know, it's pretty unlikely when we see all the other markets crashing around you. And not just that, that we were actually bearish on Bitcoin because of the fact we had rejected off of these levels. Um, you know, it was just adding to the confluence that we were going to get this strong pullback, wasn't it? You know, everything coming together um, is obviously nice. And you did get that strong pullback. And obviously, my biggest take profit was was the monthly. That was my, the target I was aiming for. So, you know, that's where I totally closed out of, out of my short position. And again, this is the thing. Like, you know, I could have squeezed actually a little bit more profit out of this short. But, but nevertheless, I'm more, more, more than content with the money I made on it. But, you know, that, that goes to show, you know, really that, you know, I could have got greedy and held on to this short this morning. And then, you know, I closed here. I could have got a bit more. But now I would have actually been sat in less. And I'm sat in a position now where I'm, I'm, I'm comfortably like looking for a trade sort of thing. So, um. You know, that, that goes to show like how we, you know, trade the range for what it is, how we can expect rises even when everything's pointing bearish and how you got to really simply, you know, I, I, this was a, this was what I was like. I gave a live, so I'd done a live stream straight away as soon as we had that big drop yesterday where I tried to bring some calmness into the group because, you know, naturally, naturally, when, when you see really big moves like this, everybody, you know, 
it's, it's natural to be really emotional, really scared, really, you know, jumping into trades at market. Maybe the majority of people after this move are going to be market shorting because they're going to be thinking, right, this is this is it. We're, we're going to crash here. So my, my thought process was, you know, I'm going I'm to make a stream for the champions here because I want to bring some commoners into the group and explain what we should be doing. And, you know, my my calmness at the time was saying this is not actually bearish like do not get overly bearish here and i was foreseeing a range between you know 9450 and where we were you know at the bottom of of that current range and we have hit now 9465 so people obviously <laughs> you know that's what it that's what you need though you need like this sense of calmness you don't want to get emotional in this trading because you will you will lose money if that's the case so now so now we can make like informed decisions it's it's come up to a level where i was expecting around this 9450 we're currently sat at 9465 like what's the most likely then to happen next and um you know, I think you've got a few key levels here, if, if we're if we're honest, okay, so I, I could say, you know, I, you know, we're, we're going to go back up to 10k, you know, there, there's obviously levels to get there. And, um, you know, 9800 being our low of the channel. And as we've seen it before, we, we've put in ranges uh, between like the ch the channel lows and the channel highs where we, we, you know, we spent a time ranging here, we spent a time ranging here, and we obviously spent our time ranging here. So if we can get accepted back into this range, then one would say, yeah, you, you're absolutely looking back up to 9,800, you know, you know, 10K. So um, that's 100% a possibility today that yeah, you could reach this 10K level. So trade the chart for what it is like. And that, that, that said, that doesn't mean like enter into a long position right now. It doesn't doesn't mean just go market by as soon as you see me hit say this. Um, you know, I, I guess I would like to highlight not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a trader um, and I'm doing this for educational and entertainment purposes only. But, um, you know, we're seeing some strength today across the market. So we are seeing the, um, you know, we're, this is obviously, <laughs> um, you know, our, our really red day yesterday. But we're seeing a bit of a bounce over on the uh, stock market this morning. Obviously seeing gold fairly, 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 um, fairly straight, uh, fairly sideways. But um, we are seeing the, the biggest strength here in Bitcoin, which is which is nice. But the bounce is also not to be so like unexpected because we did reach a really big support, obviously, of this 9,000. So I'm going to really simply give you some levels and I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to trade in this video. I'm not going to say long and this is the target, short and this is the target. You know, you can make your own decisions from this information that I'm going to give you. And if you would like it, assistance in me giving you more details, then obviously you can come across to Chart Champions. But um, you know, for this for this video, I'm going to really simply give you some levels and you can make them make your own decisions from this. So, I mean, clearly you can see the big support in a monthly. This is this is where I was closing out on my short because, you know, it's a really key level. And you can see here, you know, locally how it's been a really key level. You had that bounce off of, or, you know, off the low of the channel. You came back up to monthly, rejected, rejected, rejected once again, and then you broke it here. So this is the first time that you really broke it and, and maintained the level. You can see you maintain it, maintain it, maintain it. You know, you're maintaining it and you move up to your next level, which for, which for me was around 9,460. So now you're at 9,465. Um, all I'm going to say is, is your next level of resistance for me anyway, is basically 9,600. So we got uh, 9,600 and then uh, obviously your 9,700, it's kind of like $100 increments, 9,600, 9,700, and then obviously the low of this channel coming in 9,784. So, um, you know, those are some pretty uh, key resistances in terms of your channels and just levels that I know that are, are big resistances, uh, as well as, you know, obviously, it, you know, if possible, your previous day value area high being, being, being 9,996. So one could say that you know, think about it. When you come down really fast, you do have the possibility of coming up really fast. But obviously, before you can even think about hitting 10K, you have to get through 9,600, 9,677, 9,800. You know, there's there's levels to get to the these higher targets, but nevertheless, that that for me is a, is a, is an, an acceptable higher target today. Today, if you if I'm honest, or especially over the weekend. Um, and then to the downside, because there's no guarantee, obviously there's never a guarantee in trading, so it would it would be naive and actually really bad to only have a bullish plan. You have to have a bullish and a bearish plan from here. So if we do reject from this level, you know, let's say that the high's in as we're speaking and, you know, you watch this video and we're, we're sat at, you know, 9,400 and we've got a rejection here. Well, then clearly your, your key levels here are 9,339, 9,250, and then simply back at the low of the channel, which is 9,060. Okay, so those are three key supports. Obviously, you lose this, you're going to be looking down towards the weekly once more, aren't you? But for me, I, I think, um, you know, I just I, I just don't know what to say anymore. I've been giving you this range for a month and, and literally anybody that's tried to short the lows has been absolutely wrecked. Anyone that's tried to long the highs has been absolutely wrecked. So doesn't it just make more sense to short the highs and long the lows? That's 
what I'm trying to emphasize in these videos. You know, people get wrecked time and time and time again on Bitcoin, on Bitcoin especially, when they try and long these breakouts, when they try and short these breakdowns. I mean, they're just getting wrecked 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 and i think i've made it hopefully really really clear that in this market we're making money by firstly identifying ranges so imagine we were back up at the high over here so imagine we're back up at the highs and I'm like, you know, I'm stressing, oh, we're going to break out Bitcoin. We're never going to see Bitcoin below 10,000 again. You know, bye, 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 bye. You know, this is going to get everybody wrecked. And if we reach the lows, imagine I'm making videos like, you know, I'm, not, I'm not saying like, we're never going to see Bitcoin above 9,000 again. You know, sell, sell. Like here is the biggest crash ever. You know, it's not going to be helpful to anyone. You know, being helpful is, is recognizing the ranges, giving the ranges and then explaining, you know, simply what we need to do to make money on this is Look to short the highs of the ranges, look to long the lows of the ranges, and acknowledge that a break of this range is going to equal a loss. So, obviously, this was a break of our range, but we knew that this broke on really weak volume. There was exhaustion upon breaking this high. So, as you know, I shorted this first high at 9,200, no, sorry, 10,200. I shorted, you know, this could have been classed as a break of the range. But when you understand technical analysis, we could see that this was actually a break, a really weak break, and really weak breaks are bearish. Okay, so, you know, that's to, you know, but simply we can acknowledge though, nevertheless, that, you know, if we are simply shorting the highs, long in the lows, shorting the highs, long in the lows, then we are going to get a loss at some point. When the range actually breaks with strength, then that's going to give us a loss of the, you know, a loss. But we can say now we've been in this for one month. Okay, we've taken swing trades, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, about, you know, nearly coming on, you know, coming on, I suppose, ten, nearly 10 trades inside of this range for swing trades perspectives. And then in, in the daily perspective, okay, so day trading, you know, we've had little ranges inside here. So we've had these little, little highs and lows, you know, little ranges, little ranges, little ranges, little ranges ranges, little ranges, and possibly, you know, the possibility that we, you know, we might form another new range here sort of thing. So we have ranges within ranges, but this is how we're making money at the moment on Bitcoin. And obviously there's a time to be in trending mode. There's time to be in ranging mode. Today, as it has been for the last 44 days, has been in ranging mode for a swing trader's perspective. Let's not carry, get carried away, you know, um, you know, I think that's what a bit of a longer video that I was going to go over here, but I, I think that I've just wanted to pass more on the knowledge in this video of, you know, how, 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 how simple it, simple it really is to make money here. You know, it's not, I'm not going to even say like, this isn't overly difficult. This analysis that I'm not giving is, it's overly complex. Okay. It's, it's pretty simple. We're looking at shorts for the highs. We're looking at longs for the lows. If we break the lows, that's really bearish. If we break the highs, that's really bullish. Okay. And uh, until that happens, yes, we can be we can have higher term time frame perspectives of what we think this is overall. As you know, you know, I've been labeling this quite a while now as as a distribution range. So I, I do have these slight biases of what I believe this range is and what I believe, you know, where I believe the range will overall break break, you know, if I believe it's going to overall break to the downside or to the upside, you know, I have that bias uh, from the way I, I, I label my either reaccumulation or distribution, you know, so I, I do have that bias and I do have a, 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 you know, a feeling of where I believe it's going. But, you know, simply I'm, I'm going to, you know, from especially from a day trader's perspective, trade this range for what it is, which is is, is essentially like, um, you know, trading the chart, not, not getting overly bullish not getting overly bearish um you know for an absolute fact you, you know many people are losing money right now because as soon as they they see this like smash down to the downside they would have been shorting at these lows and now they've just got you know they're, they're essentially you know probably closing their shorts now and um you know losing money so it's just like crazy you just gotta you gotta trade the technicals on this market bitcoin's really 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 technical traders so you know everything that moves on this market is like just so good on technical analysis so you know learn the technicals i suppose and you should be pretty good for yourself um, I think that's what I'm going to end with here. I suppose, you know, if you would like those, you know, obviously I've done a live stream in the moment as it was happening yesterday, this, this decline in price and, you know, giving clarity, giving, you know, calmness and explaining, you know, this isn't overly bearish. And obviously from there, we're, we're up, we're up nearly 3%. So, you know, that was obviously a nice perspective to give. And if you would like those sort of real time updates as well as I know, understand how I'm trading, what I'm actually doing today in terms of my trades, um, but, you know, more focused on the educational side of things. So if you'd like to, uh, you know, understand and learn how to, you know, make these ranges, how to do these weekly, monthly levels, how to recognize trap traders. OK, so when we were recognizing our trap shorts, OK, sorry, trap longs up at the highs when we actually had trap shorts down at these lows. You know, if you'd like to recognize all of this, understanding order flow, understanding order books, you know, this is obviously what I teach. So, you know, you're more than welcome to come across. And if, if, you, if not, then, um, you know, 
you can definitely have taken something from this video. So there's something for everybody here. Um, you know, that's what I'm going to end with. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, I would thoroughly, as always, appreciate a like. That would be that would be great if you want to give this uh, video a, a thumbs up. Obviously, you can also tick the bell to have a notification whenever I upload a video. As you can see, uh, you know, what I'm going to say as well is, is watch the video on the top right of this screen. OK, so watch the video on the top right, because that's yesterday's video. And then you can see my thought process in the time of why I was taking that short position. OK, so make sure you watch yesterday's video because you're going to be understanding from the second half of the video, the video, the video is one minute long. So just spend a minute of your life and watch that video. And you'll, you know, you'll see in the time why I was looking at these shorts at, at, at 10,000 and obviously why I was closing out my short at, at the monthly there, 9339. Nine, nine. Um, you know, so I'm going to go back off and, and trade this right now. So um, hope that you've enjoyed this, this update. Hope I really honestly hope that it has served you well. And, um, you know, thank you once again. Have a brilliant day. Have a good weekend and, you know, enjoy trading these charts. Cheers. Goodbye.